the windows were dark when he made his first stop. So he told the old moose to be quiet and drop. No, no. I did not tell the moose to drop. There will be no moose droppings on stage today. The high priest have to clean up. Could be fragile. Then he slid down the chimney. Rather tight pinch. You got stuck for a moment or two. <laughs> I'm stuck. How embarrassing. Must be all those holiday carbs. <laughs> then he stuck his head out of the fireplace blue, where the little goose stockings all hung in a row. He stuck. These stockings will be the first to go. <laughs> then he slithered, slunk with a smile most unpleasant. <laughs> Around the whole room and he took every present. your presence. I know what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Beast. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch like his brother last year even took the last can of Who Hash. Ah, I'm supposed to steal some food from the tables. But I shouldn't go through the children. Mm. It's okay, I'll take the food. It's for a good cause. Ward service, project humanitarian service, anorexic sumo wrestlers. It's okay, you can trust me. I'm with Acorn. Then he stuck up and moved up the chimney with glee. And now, grin the Grinch. I will stuff up the tree. Then Richard and got a sick of spruce. <laughs> and he turned around fast, and he saw a small who, Cindy Lou Who, who was not more than two. <laughs> Who's your daddy, Yao Ming? <laughs> the Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter who got out of bed for a cold cup of water.
gave her a drink. Security did not do their job. Potentially that says we're in a doctor pay. And he patted her head and he gave her a drink. And he sent her to bed. The last thing he took was the log for their fire. Hmm. Hey, narrator, go on. No? I bet you would if my name were Max. Oh, not you, Max. Max Hall. And he went out the chimney himself with the wire. And he did the same thing to the other hoop houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other hoop mouses. It was a quarter past dawn. All the who's still a bed. All the who's still a snooze when he picked up his sled. Packed it up with their presents. The ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet. With his load to the septop to dump it. That obedient school owes me a refund. Who could have the hoops? He was graciously grinning. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. All the who's down in Whoville will all cry. <laughs> the Grinch heard a noise. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It just couldn't be so. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing. Was singing without any presence at all. He had not stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or the other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling, puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. It came with his brother away on vacation. It came like last year before his brother's transformation. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe perhaps Christmas means a little bit more. Maybe it's not all about fun and fame and worldly goods. Does that path even lead to happiness? I don't know. Ask Tiger Woods. <laughs> Maybe this yearly fuss about shepherds and mangers and the birth of a Christ child makes family of strangers. Maybe this is the Christmas my brother last year found. Maybe this is the cause of his change so profound. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's identical slimy twin brother from Sitka, Alaska, grew a heart that cold day. <laughs> and the instant his heart, new heart, started his blood a-warming, he brought the Who's back their toys that Christmas morning. And the food for the feast. And he... <laughs> And I, the Grinch's identical slimy twin brother from Sitka, Alaska, zip code 99835, I myself will carve the roast beef. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas! Merry